Welcome to Ultima 5 Lazarus, and we're gathered in the Resistance Headquarters. And now we've got to go off and fight for Britannia. But let's talk to Landon again. What have you got to say, Landon? Thy deeds hath made thee an integral member of the Resistance. Well, I haven't done anything yet, but okay, keep this up. Before long, Britannia's future will be assured. Now let us take care of Resistance business. Mario told me that thy freedom, that was thy brilliant plan? My plan had a lot more panache. It's only drawback being it had no chance of working. Thank thee anyway. Mario will prove to be a very useful member, I'm sure. He hath already become our ambassador to Empath Abbey, amongst other things that thou hast best not know about. So, that was the guy we saved earlier from the stocks. Anything else? It may not surprise thee to find out that some of Chamfort's weapons have been found on dead oppression soldiers, who attract our, our freedom fighters. Oh, making us he's reading out a list of 14 people who've been killed by the weapons just to make us feel bad thanks Landon well you know oh never mind so I guess he doesn't like it when we work against them All right, let's... just what I was thinking All right, you and him think I like them let's have a look in the crates bread and bread since it's owned by a liar resistance, we can take it. And a pumpkin. And some lockpicks. Those will all do well to helping us on our quest, Landon. Thanks very much. Now let's run the rummage through Landon's underwear drawer. A teleport scroll. Brilliant. And another yellow push. We really have to start drinking these, don't we? And some torches. Maybe we'll just have a quick word with Landon again because we like him so much. And just ask him if there's anything else he wants us to do. Give us a quest. Oh, he's waiting for us to take those weapons from Chamfort. Thy next quest will be a difficult one. I would like thee to retrieve the crown of Lord British. Aren't I willing to accept this task? No, not just yet. Somehow I get the feeling thou hast not gotten into the spirit of this whole resistance concept. We're trying to win a, a war here, in case thou hadn't noticed, and generally that act involves actually doing something. This is a mission I cannot trust one of my normal operatives. Unless, of course, I could convince one of thy companions to leave thy side and take up this mission for the cause. None of your companions volunteer, I thought as much. The mission is still thine, Avatar, if thou dost wish to change thy mind. Perhaps thou should speak with Sir Simon first, to find out what powers the Crown doth have. Mayhaps that will be sufficient motivation to thee. Right, but he hasn't actually told us where to find Sir Simon. <laughs> Just that Sir Simon will be able to motivate us to go on this quest. Actually, the Crown is a pretty kick-ass uh, piece of equipment, and we will probably need it to finish this game. But at the moment, we're too weak to go uh, traipsing after the um, artefacts. Uh, our good buddy suggested. That's right, YOLO. Close the door on everybody. Shamino, rather. So what we'll do is we'll talk to Chamfer about these weapons. I wonder who killed these giant rats. get back on the lift. This is the tricky part, because the party seems to like to space itself out sufficiently. At thy command. But if I get Julia, or Jana, to pull a lever, I think everybody has successfully escaped the fireplace. Yep, there we are. Now, is that Chamfort? Good. Chamfort. Since it's nightfall, since it's Half nine at night, I get some peace and quiet to speak to you. Nope, guys. Speak to he's downstairs. Speak to him downstairs. Nope. Very hyperactive, aren't we? Hello, Stuart. Hello, Chamfer old chum. Can I have some weapons? Ah, so Landoth has has the working for him. I see he doth trust thee. Very well. Here are the weapons. He produces two piles. Here they are. May I? Without waiting for an answer, Yolo unwraps the cloth and takes out the crossbow. 
Hmm, it is very well made. If thou dost keep this up, thou wilt put me and Gweno out of business. Hmm, not likely, my friend. It is one of thine. I bartered it from Gwyneth in exchange for some metalwork a few months ago. I didn't need it, so I thought I'd add it to the cause. Yes, so it is. Some of my better work, too. Let's talk about trust. It seems that thou can't be trusted. Art thou in need of the mantra of justice? Yes, I am. Very well, the mantra is bear. Right, okay, let's remember that then. Thanks, champ, for it. Right. We need to go speak to our good buddy Landon again. So let's get back into the lift. I'm only going to send the avatar down because it's just such a pain. I hope he doesn't kill me for taking his poker out of the fire. Um, I meant to use this. Oh well, if anything could possibly go wrong with a long play, it will do. Right, let's quickly get ourselves over there. And here we are, back in the Resistance headquarters. Let's go speak to our buddy Landon. Hey, Landon, it's me again. Are you going to tell me off again? Yes, I'm great, I know. Now, here are the weapons. Ah, thank thee, thank thee, very good. Now, wouldst thou be willing to deliver them to some of our leaders throughout Britannia? Yes, why not? Grand, grand. Well, these leaders are Vigil in North Brittany, and Ian, who resides in Jellum. He's going to hand us some parcels, okay? Talk about the crown again. Hast thou decided to recover Lord British's crown? No, not yet. Well, I see. Just remember, thou can keep the crown for all I care, till it's merely important that Blackthorn does not have it. Right, couple of resistance weapon shipments. We'll try and undertake this mission then. For the resistance. I'm not quite sure why it set a trap there. Stairs with the weapon shipments. Well, let's get out of here. Well, yeah, you do. I'll get right on it. Right, so we've got some clues now for where to go next. Ian and Jellum, which we've not been to yet, and uh, Vigil in Brittany. If thou art sure. Brittany's one of the little villages around there uh, from from Britain. Ah, there you go, Shanna. There's your wanted poster. Let's go strolling into the tavern nonchalantly anyway and see if anybody recognises you. Why, it's a stranger we haven't met before. G'day, my lord. How about that drink, then? What's thy name? Tis Douglas. It looks like John Nettles from Midsummer Murders. Okay, let's have a drink. Ails well, that ends well. Okay. I'd actually like to buy something. Don't just tell me about drinks and food. Uh, we've got plenty of food. I don't think he sells anything useful. Do you want some weapons? No, nope, can't be sold. Would you like a teleport potion? Uh, a teleport scroll? He would pay 15 gold for it. That doesn't seem like a lot. I'll pay 15 gold for one. Well, let's, uh, let's take the Moongate out of here. Oh, yep. Now there's two reasons to take the Moongate out of here. It's faster and it's safer. If the Shadow Lord's here, he's not going to be wherever it is we're going. Right, so let's make it to the Moongate, and we'll bid adieu there. Oh, because there are wolves across the uh, the, wa the water. So, thanks for listening, and I will see you later.